Yo guys, what is up? Killer Rob here bringing you not one but two gameplays that I have on Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on my hard drive here. The first one is going to be a nuclear fail using the SCAR. And the second one is going to be an actual nuclear using the uh, M27. And people do leave, which I do hate about this game. But I'll talk about that on my own channel. But before I get any further... Thank you, Thunder, so much for allowing me to uh, upload on your channel again. This will be the second gameplay. The first one was uh, Modern Factory 3. If anybody remembers me saying that on the channel, um, I was I was using the Scar. Holy shit, I just noticed I was just using the Scar. Oh, man, deja vu. But um, thank you so much, Thunder. Um, please, guys, if you like any... Just please continue to, to support Thunder. Like these videos because I want this channel to grow it supports so many people that's how i found um cod or the cod brothers uh paul if you guys some if some of you subs know him and that's how i, I just love watching some of his videos but no i'm not gonna plug anybody here just want, I, I need to plug myself obviously hopefully i do get the same amount of subs that i got last time hopefully you guys are more are more active than than what those guys did but I, i'm not dissing those guys at all i love all my subs it's just maybe something went wrong with the youtube you know by putting out the videos on their feeds or whatever may have you i'm not gonna basically say it's their fault for being dead sub I'm just i'm just gonna blame it on youtube but what i want to talk to you guys about is a topic that i think is, is, is a pretty good topic that all people should think about and that's um how call of duty is killing itself and why you know they would rather people like Ali A and, you know, T. Martin to promote their videos rather than, you know, the real people like Xcal, Thunder, Blame Truth, you know, whatever, who may have you, you know? We always see, for example, well, I, sh I, sh I should say that. I'm going to give an example of the media. We always see in the media that these guys always say, Call of Duty is so good, so great. Uh, Call of Duty is new, innovative, it's so amazing how fast can you play it is, uh, 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 yeah, all this different stuff. And, you know, I always think that the reason why they say that is because, not because they're just paid to, but because they're not allowed to really say anything bad about the game during interviews. You know, we always see all these interviews about how COD is different and innovative. They want to show all this stuff about how it's new. Like, using that dog, Riley. Oh, my God. You, man, that dog, that next-gen dog, holy shit. It can walk and it can bark and it can kill people. Oh, my God. And, 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 it jaw, its jaw can drop. My God. But, you know, they always want to cover stuff like that. I mean, and I'm just like, so what? That's, that's not really interesting. Who would want to, you know succumb to stuff like that and want to buy the game just because of that and you, you understand what i'm saying but it's all because they can't really say anything bad because they they lose the authentication to 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 you know i'll put videos and stuff and news about a certain game because the publisher doesn't want it anymore because they don't like them you guys understand what, what i'm saying here it's kind of like um if i were to give you advertisements for your channel so you can get hits so you guys can have some jobs you understand what I'm saying? So, you guys are... You guys' job is to basically... I wouldn't say promote the game, but don't say anything bad about the game so that, you know, we can get some more money so we can, you know, give you more advertising and stuff like that. And I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, that many people are bad people and stuff like that because they, they're just people of the workforce. Not everybody is going to have free will over what they can and can't do. Not everybody's going to be like an open win for your Dr. Phil and can ask you hard questions and say, did you really rape that child on Call of Duty? Mm -hmm. I think you need to go to counseling. You know, that we can't do that with games. And we can't just ask these questions like, how good is the lag compensation? Is it good? Is it going to be dedicated service? Is anything going to be good in the Call of Duty game? Is it going to be anything different, you know? So that's why I think part of the reason why we can't really trust the media to give us the appropriate game, or the, the appropriate um, reviewers or such for the... For, the, for these games. I'm sorry for, for these lack of words, guys. I'm trying to think of the, the best way to, to say stuff like this. You know, and, and it's sad because another reason that Call of Duty is basically killing itself is because people are getting more educated. Now, I have a friend who who is subscribed to my YouTube channel, but we didn't we didn't meet through YouTube. We met, you know, on Xbox. His name is Highs What. You know, he told me he officially started playing Call of Duty in the MW3 area, and I was like, wow, you missed out on some, some great games, MW2 and Black Ops 1 in its prime, and, you know, he was like, wow, really? And I just told him, yeah, and then I, I asked him, how did you get so good, 
you know, with Call of Duty so quickly. And he just says because he watched YouTube videos. Now, I'm not saying that YouTube videos is like the way to get smart. And tips and tricks are the best thing ever. Yeah. No, that's not how I, I see it as. I just see it as he saw gameplays like this where people may be talking over the gameplay, maybe giving some good commentaries like how Fear Crash does it or Thunder may do it when he's beasting on some noobs or, you know, whoever may have you, whoever you watch, you know. He's a, we all watch these people, and he said that he evolved from watching how they play the game and watching their what they do, what how they how they you know go at approach the situation or go at a flag or wait till you know the guys all the guys are dead around them to get their V set or go to go cap the flag or whatever and how to not trust teammates and always oh, watch your corners and you know whatever you know that's how he got good at the game. And that's how I see how Call of Duty is going to be killing himself. Because he's one of the dudes, just like me, he rages and gets mad at the game. He gets pissed off at the game just as much as I do. Because he has so much love and like for the for the game that he doesn't want it to be a terrible game. He, he remembers the good times of pulling some noobs, teaching them how to play the game appropriately, and evolving from it. You know, he's the one, just like all of us who love Call of Duty, who the reason why we bench and we moan is because we want to see the game, you know, evolve. Not because we, we want to see Vondahar and his family hang from a tree and burn into fire, whatever death threats that, that you know, they had and, or whatever, and, and, you know, Robert Boland died, or whatever. You know, it's not because we actually want to see that happen. We're just mad because we had such good hopes for this game. It, it's it's kind of like a it's kind of like an Asian dude getting a hundred in in one you know one classroom, and then next thing you know, he takes a classroom that's you know basically the same exact class, maybe a little bit different, and now he's just scoring like D's and F's. Like, come on now, you've been doing the same exact thing, just in a, in a different class, and you mean to tell me that you're, you're failing? I mean, come on now. And that's how that's how we see Call of Duty. It's doing the exact same thing, just bringing us some entertainment. But it's it's getting those D's and F's. It's getting us the, those those bad grades that we feel. That's getting pissed off at the game. I mean, seriously, how many of you guys have had so many good times with Call of Duty, and you just want to see it come back? You just want to have the good times happen again. But that's what the same reason why you get mad at the game is the same reason why you want to see the good stuff come back. Honestly. That's why I think that people like, you know, XCAL, Thunder, um, man, El Prez may be an, an extreme, extreme, you know, thing. Because I, I, how he, how I see him perceive the game is, 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 is he, he takes it to an extreme. I'm not saying that's bad. You know, all power to him. I respect him in every, in every possible way because he says the real shit, the true shit. But I, I think that if you were to help make the next Call of Duty game, Holy shit. I don't think snipers would ever be able to use snipers ever. But, you know, I'm not saying that it, that that's not a bad thing, but I'm but I'm also saying it's not a good thing. See, I like what Thunder said, having quick scoping lobby by itself. You can do whatever you want. You can do your 360s, your 720s, your 1080s. You can you why why you can silence scope. You can do whatever you want. You can act like this is Rust and you are a phase clan. You can do whatever you want, but in your own lobby. You understand what I'm saying? Don't screw up, up. Don't don't mess with other people and get us mad and screw with us. You know, activate stuff for people just because you want to have you you want to make the game for the for the 12 year olds. And as for the guys that play MLG, let them. You can cater to this game, but I promise you, I think that if YouTubers like the ones I talk about, and yes, I have a transition. I hope it's not that bad. It probably is bad, but I'm not good with transitions. But as I was saying, um, if you just have us, you know, normal, real YouTubers bring it to you, we'll bring you a game like MW2 back and stuff like that. And I promise all those MLG dudes will love it because it, it, it won't be hard to integrate the stuff from League Pay, blah, blah, League Play, League Pay, League Play back into Call of Duty. I know you guys can copy and paste that. But what we want you to do, want you to do is copy and paste the good code that we all miss, that we all know and love about the normal Call of Duty. You know, we all miss that fun fact of going to a search and destroy game and being able to to just have a good time, being able to clutch it. I remember I had a 6v1 clutch on, um, what was that map from MW2? Scrapyard. And yes, I was that. That's that's what I, I was into quickscoping. That's what I learned about because MW2 was technically my first Call of Duty. I was into quickscoping. But as soon as Black Ops One came out, I, I got smart. 
I was like, I hate quickscoping. I, I found out quickscoping is just boring bullshit, honestly. It's not hard at quickscope. It's just stupid and a waste of time. All these feeds and stuff like that. Personally, I never went for feeds. I just, I like to snipe because I, I just had fun doing it. And I just like running around and having fun. MW2, if you compare MW2 to Black Ops 2, MW2 was much harder to, to snipe. Like, for example, one day, I haven't touched a sniper rifle in such a long time. And then it, it, I touch it one time in, in Black Ops 2. I, I pick up that blister. I, th I think it was a blister. And then I went on a 7th streak. No problems. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. That was just me going on, on a little rant about snipers. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Please support Thunderstruck's uh, channel for help other YouTubers out. Please come support my channel if you did like the content. I will talk to you guys later. See ya. And peace.